Now, this is one type of question that we see a lot. Now, once again, these are actual PSLE questions. Again, repeat that identity. I think I managed to find like a couple of them. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there were like six uh, of these uh, repeated identity questions for the past five years. So I think it's pretty important to know how to do. Uh, I'll just do one, right? and then after that, you can try the rest. So question number one. So the ratio of men to women uh, in the food court is four is to three. So usually what I like to do is I put like men, women, sure, like this. Right, so the ratio is four is to three. Then the ratio of women to children is five is two. So I will have another column. Right, which uh, shows children, children. okay, which Child. is five is two. two. Now, in this particular ratios, there is a category that's being repeated, okay, which is why it's called repeat yeah, identity. Yeah, yeah. So, what we do is we convert it to 15. Amen. We want to make it 15, and when we do that, the first row, you got to multiply by five, five, right? Because here, three must times five to become, uh, to get 15. Then how about the second row, what do you do? Times, times three. three. Okay, so when we do that, uh, this will become six, and this will become 20. Okay, so the uh, but that's not what the question is asking us. The question is asking if there are 24 children, which means this six, six represents 24 children. How many men are there? Now for if six units, I can refer to them as units. So if six units represents 24 children, uh, I do a bit of calculation here. 6u represents 24. So one unit would be, what's one unit? It's four, four, right? Yeah, it's four children. So what, how many men? You see men, yeah, men, there are 20 units. Yeah. Four times of 20. And we will get 80. So the answer is 80 men. Yeah, eight men. All right. Okay, so this is called repeated identity. Now, once again, why is it repeated identity? Because there's one category that gets repeated in both sets of ratio, ratio on top and the ratio at the bottom. And what you have to do is you have to find the common uh, ratios for all three before you can do the calculation. So this is the trick. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the next one. Have you all done the next one or maybe you all can do? Okay, if you are done, it's okay. Right? Uh, we're gonna let everybody else try. Okay, can you do this? And then after that, uh, send your answer to me for question number two. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Tang is here. All right, wait, let's go through. Fraction. Right. Wait. The ratio of adult to children. Okay, it's time to demonstrate my drawing. Adult. <laughs> No. Emotion from the thing. You know, you know, you know, uh, Mr. Chang, are you realizing that you are drawing yourself? Who? This? Yeah, that's you and then that's Okay, now children. Uh, three is to ten. Okay, the ratio of boys to girls. Now, this is children. That means there's like oh, yeah, yeah. My two categories of okay. humans. <laughs> okay, so boys, girls, right? Two of them. Okay, I must admit, that girl actually looks. Good. That's your best. <laughs> okay, that thing. Okay, wait. The boys to girls is two is to five. Okay, that means this this ten this ten. Okay, wait. Did I get this correct? Boys to girls. So boys to girls two is five. Now this ten is being repeated here and here, right? So, but however, the boys to girls huh, is seven. But the total here is ten. So what there's a problem okay the seven doesn't match the ten now what, what what do i need to do the seven doesn't match the ten uh what i can do is i can convert to the same 
uh, number. So what's the common term? 70. 70 right? If you want, you can use 70. That's perfectly fine. So if I were to convert this to 70, okay, 70, yeah. 20 here, 20. yeah, here must times 7, right? And then the bottom, I got a times 10. One other times 10. Great, okay. So, uh, so here multiplied by 7, I'm going to get 21 is to 70. Okay, this is adult, this is children. And then here, split up into uh, boys versus girls is 20 is to 50. And then we go to our question. The question is asking, what is the fraction of boys to adults? Uh, this is a boy. And this is the adult. No, adult <laughs> yeah. Mm. Here it. Um, okay. Right. So, so the uh, ratio. Oh, sorry. The one fraction, right? Boys is twenty, and adults is twenty-one. So the final answer. You have to produce in the fraction form twenty over. 21. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we have a page. I will go through. Stop the cat. Stop the cat. Okay, anyone has questions for this? No? No? Well, okay. How about uh, John Z? Okay. Uh, next one. Now, this time around, we're going to do two. Three and four. Okay, please do these two. Here we go. Now I'm going to go through. Now I appreciate if you know the solution or the answer. Uh, let's just give everybody a chance to, to learn how to do. Yes, okay. So let's go through question number five. I remember this 2021 PSI question because I made a TikTok video about this and also a YouTube video about this. Uh, so much a, B, C. Share the cost e, e, of a bitch. Right? Okay, the ratio of A's share to total of B and C was 1 is 3. So I would draw a ratio like this. So B plus C, right? So here is 1 is 2, 3. Right, so the two of them add together is 3. Next, the ratio of Ben's share to the total of A and C. So I'm going to have another uh, ratio here. Ben is to A plus C was. 1 is to 5. <clears throat> so what you realize here is that uh, you have a ratio for Alan and then Ben plus Chandra. And then you have Ben 1 and then after that <coughs> Alan plus Chandra again. Now what you need to realize is that the total should be the same. The total. That means if I were to take 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4 should give me the same value as 1 plus 5, which is equal to 6. <laughs> what? Okay, so what is being repeated is the total. The total yeah. should be the same. So now that I know the total should be the same, I'm going to use green to uh, show what I need to do. Now I know that the total here is 4, the total here is 6. Uh, hence, the, the common multiple, I can use 12, right? And here, because it's 12, I'm going to times 2 to this set of ratio. And then to this 4, I want, I want 12, so then I'm, I'm going to multiply by 3. And when I do that, I will get 3 is to 9. <clears throat> and then here is uh, 2 is to 10. So you can now see that my total is the same. Okay, I got 3 plus 9 is 12. 2 plus 10 uh, is also 12. And hence, I can come up with a new set of ratio for A is to B is to C. Now, what is a new set of ratio? Because now I know A is three units, uh, B is two units. I can tell. Yeah, do you know what is C? Yeah. Matthew, what is C? Uh, <coughs> yeah, nine can go to because B is, right? So we get seven. seven and then, yeah. And then you can check seven plus three plus two is. 12 as well. Okay, see? So okay, see? So yeah. Can I uh, understand? Uh, right, so 
So now that you know the official ratio for the three persons here, uh, you can then proceed to the next sentence, which says that Chandra's share was $80 more than Ben's share. Now you see that Chandra has seven and Ben has two units. What is our units? And the difference is five units. So five units represents $80. This is the $80 more. Uh, and then uh, you can use your calculator. One unit, you just say 80 divided by five, $16. Yeah, so what is the question? The question is how much did the gift cost? <clears throat> so altogether the gift cost 12 units of money. Right, just take 16 multiplied by 12. Uh, that give us $192. Okay, so if you got $192, that's great. I'm happy for you. If not, uh, just learn. Uh. <coughs> just learn, learn. Uh, serious, just, just learn. It's not, it's not PSLE yet. Okay. And I'm going to go to the next one as well. Okay, so this repeated identity ratio again, the total is being repeated in the two scenarios and we just make the ratio the same okay next question number six hmm? oh you know how to do it that's great yeah but i'll go through anyway so the pupils at the camp are divided into group a and b group a group b the ratio of number of boys to girls uh, so boys is to girls is five is to four and then for the ratio of number of boys to girls b is five is to one so boys is to girls five is to one now there are three times as many pupils in b than a so let's look at the total you see the total here is nine it's nine but the total here is six so it doesn't uh, show what they want us to uh, to know okay which is there there should be three times here as compared to here right because here is nine so i'm just gonna write the total here is nine t for total yeah uh, t here is six okay so i need to find a number which can represent like three times of this okay what number would you use I want, hmm? um, I want to be three times. Three times. This okay. one is six? Nine times six? The total here should be three times. Everybody? Nine times two. But there are three times as many people as in B than A. No? If A is 18, Right, how about how about B? 54. 54, three times. Uh, okay, so you can use 54. I think that's fine. Okay, so now can you see this? This was the most difficult part. If you can figure out this part, you're done. <clears throat> you know how to do it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yes, right? Wow, 25 So if I want this to be 54, I'm going to use green to show what I need to do, right? So here must times. Nine. And then here I got a times two twice. What am I going to get? So here times nine. This two ratio I got to multiply by nine as well. Okay, I'm going to get uh, nine and forty-five. And this times two. Yeah, ten is two. Eight. Okay, we have a total of eighteen. So now I have. Fulfill the criteria that's given to me in the question. Happy face. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. What is the total number of boys in both groups? Okay, what is the total number of boys in both groups? Wait a minute. The pupils. Uh, you do not even know the answer. No, 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 no. Yeah, there are three times as many. What is the total? Wait, but did, did they give us any number? No. So it's 
to find the bond. Just to <laughs> you have the same number. Wait, I need to it's check. 55. 55 because it's one. What? It's 55. I know, but this is a ratio. Yeah. It's, 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 it could have been. So it's it could not have been, number, yeah, it could have been. Yeah, it could have been a bigger number. Yeah, it can be, but this is also a possible number. Yeah, so based on uh based on our ratio, right? So they'll accept were, anything that's a multiple of 55. Yeah. We will put 55. Okay, but let me check this question. So it seems a little weird. Yeah, PDF. Yeah. This is the PDF. You have to check the book. Yeah, I'm gonna check the book. Yes. Okay, it seems to be a little bit weird. Okay, so this is uh, let me just sum up, right? So these were the uh, repeated identity questions repeated that came out. Total. Yeah, they came out, right? First, we have repeated, like one person repeated, so that's pretty easy to do. Uh, sometimes it's a group that's repeated. Okay, like this, right? One person repeated, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, likewise for this, this is like one whole group. The total, the total is being repeated. So you just need to find the total.